Travis, oh. Zach Caleros told us the story. You Taylor can answer Swift. anything you want. Taylor Swift's the X Factor. And we're going to try to find Patrick Mahomes. Bruce Buffer. Hey, Hass, I love you, dog. Tim Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember the Oski Wee Wees. Touchdown, Moj! All right, here we are, Death Star, Las Vegas, Allegiant Stadium. Media night. Used to be at hockey arenas. They've moved it back to the stadium, as you can see. The fans are here in this beautiful facility. And it is going to be a gong show. And we're going to have a little fun showing it all to you. Well, How's good. coaching? I love it. I love the challenge. Yeah. It's not easy, but yeah. I love the challenge. So, cool. It's a good deal. We got this on video. I got very quickly got to ask you your thoughts on the game. Who do you like and why? I'm, I don't know. Like, I don't follow it that closely yeah. anymore. I played for the Niners. Uh, I love watching Mahomes, Andy. I don't know. I'm torn. Yeah. Just enjoy I'm the gonna, game. I'm going to enjoy the game. There you I, go. I'm All day, the analysis stuff, those days exactly. are done. Those days are done. I don't have any dog in the fight. Okay, man. Nice seeing you. All the best. Take care. Well, that's the cool thing about Super Bowl week. You always bump in old people. Trent Dilfer was one of our regulars back in the 1040 days with Scotty Rintoul. And always nice bumping into guys here and there. You want to see Pacheco? Let's go take a look at Pacheco. Here's Isaiah Pacheco saying, this ain't bad. I've seen worse. I mean, that's semi-doable. We've got to go find Mahomes and see where he's at. Harrison Bucker. Okay. Okay. It'd be nice to say hi to Coach Spags, but it ain't, uh, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be doable. Unless we just barge in. Okay, we've got to find Tim Terry. We are trying to find Tim Terry. This is like looking for a needle in the haystack. Like, really? Excuse me. Have you, know, have you seen Tim Terry at all? Uh, Tim Terrell. Yeah, he's right. I've seen him. Like, <laughs> needle in a haystack. All right. You probably don't remember me, but you will when I when I, I start know, when yeah, I start yeah, when I start that, talking. Yeah, yeah. One of my best foot and mouth stories involves this man, Tim Terry. I'm sitting in Seattle in the press box. I look up at the TV. Green Bay Packers were absolutely getting drilled. I look over to this man. I go, man, Green Bay is getting kicked today. I go, how you doing? He goes, good. I go, you scouting? He goes, yeah. I go, who do you work for? Green Bay. He goes, where are you from? I'm from Canada. He goes, I played in Canada. I won a great cup with the Hamilton Tiger Cats. I go, really? I go, you know Chris Burns? He goes, I played with Burnsy. I go, Burnsy running on Burnsy time. Yeah, yeah. Showed up like 10 minutes yeah, after the kickoff. Tim Terry, director of pro personnel for the Kansas City Chiefs. This going back to our friends in Hamilton for the Tiger Cat oh, Audio yeah. Network. We're going to yeah. feed this to them. Um, you know, you played on a Great Cup championship team yeah. with Hamilton. You're part of a Super Bowl championship team here. What similarities, what parallels do you draw? I think the biggest thing is the buy-in. Uh, everyone has the buy-in and the belief in one goal. Um, it's not about the numbers. It's all about the letters. So it's not worry about stats and what you're getting where you rank at those things is about getting the W's so getting the letters. So, you know, this whole group, um, when I was in Hamilton, we was focused on that thing. Uh, at least uh, our coach would say the ring is the thing. Any memories that you have? Uh, no, I, I remember the Oski Wee Wees and uh, <laughs> Eden Raw. Nah, but uh, I, I definitely still follow the teams and uh, the CFL play, the CFL league. I think it's an outstanding league. Hey, um, great stuff. Tim, best Thank of luck. You. Always a treat seeing you and uh, you. all the best. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, we're going to go for a little jaunt and we're going to try to find Patrick Mahomes. Now, one of our Super Bowls a few years back in Minnesota, we actually had a sit down with Patrick Mahomes. And the crazy thing is, we could, anybody could have talked to him that day because he, they had just literally traded Alex Smith a couple of hours earlier and Patrick became the starting quarterback. Now it's a little, it's a little different, as you can see. Yeah, and if you want to take a look at Taylor Swift's boyfriend. This is where it gets really stupid. Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Let's go see how stupid this is. Somebody's holding a cardboard cutout of what? I do not know. But. Yeah, anyway. Travis, when you're done, can we film a TikTok? No. no. Travis, oh, Zach Caleros told us a story. Well, yeah, you, 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 got, you got to tell us a good Zach Caleros story, though. The good Zach Caleros story, man. 
my boy Zip, ah, God, that's my guy right there. He was my college quarterback for those of you that don't know, but uh, we lived together as he was preparing for the uh, combine and everything. He was still uh, under the same house as me and he left me up to the uh, to the electric bill and the cable bill. And sure enough, he came home uh, after a good workout just trying to put his feet up on the couch. We didn't have any AC or cable, so it was uh, it wasn't a pretty sight. But I made sure I got it fixed by the next day. You, you got any good stories on him? They're all they're all bad stories about me. I promise you. Hey, Travis, who's the better on your football team? What position you think? What? All right, we got a little bit of love for the CFL and Zach Caleros there. Hopefully, the folks in Winnipeg will enjoy it. All right, let's go see how Andy Reid's doing. Coach looking sharp. I like Coach's shirt. If you can get in there and get a shot of that, that's not that bad. I got to go say hi to my guy, Tim Cruz. How you doing, man? Just want to say hi. Good to see you, too. Long time, Kansas City. Chiefs guy's always been in the Super Bowl for as long as I have. Tim Cruz, great guy. Can you imagine Tim Cruz's job having to deal with Mahomes? Reed and now Kelsey. Like I said, I've known this guy for like 20 years. He's always been here as part of the festivities, working obviously, but media relations director for the Chiefs. He's been busy with the Chiefs just handling them these last half dozen Super Bowls or so. All right, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs media availability session is now over. The crowd, as you can tell, a lot of Chiefs fans here at Allegiant Stadium tonight. 619 now. San Francisco 49ers will be coming out in about 40 minutes or so. So looking forward to talking to a few of their guys. All right, so Kansas City Chiefs finished their media availability. Have an hour break. We come up, grab a quick bite to eat. Now we got to go back down for the San Francisco 49ers media availability session, which is lasting for the next hour. Time to go back to work. All right, little tidbit. As I came up through the elevator, I bumped into Bruce Buffer, of course. Dominion Lending Center is one of our guys. Bruce Buffer spoke highly of Gary Morris and the folks at Dominion. And here he is tonight introducing the fellas. Here we are, San Francisco 49ers media night. So I'm going to try to get some work in right now. As you can tell, it's going to be a gong show. So let's go out there and have a little fun, folks. Oh, we're going to do one question with Ross Tucker. All right, here with my, my guy, Ross Tucker, regular on 1040 Days. I can ask you one question, the Super Bowl, bud. Food What's the X food. factor? <laughs> <laughs> the single worst question anybody ever asks. The X factor is whoever says who's the X factor, because they're X, they're out of here. They're gone. Hey, you know what? It's a broad question. It gives you a big berth. You Taylor can answer Swift. anything you want. Taylor Swift's the X Factor. Oh, man. Hey, man, nice seeing you. We'll see you, see you in the room, man. All right. All right, Christian McCaffrey at the podium. As you can tell, not as deep as Patrick Mahomes, but he's got a few people here. Okay, we're doing magic tricks now. Brandon Allen, before he was a 49er, was at University of Arkansas. Yeah. Do the play-by-play -play okay. for this team. You might remember a guy that played with you. Keon. There you go, Young Hatch. I don't yeah. know, you know he got married this year. I did, I saw yeah, that, yeah. yeah. on Instagram, yeah. right? Give us a good Keon Hatcher story. Oh my gosh. On the spot, Keon Hatcher story. Or what do you remember about Keon at Arkansas? I remember. Was he a dude back then? Yeah, he was. Yeah. I remember Keon is a freshman. <laughs> Um, baby dreads, so that was different. The Razorbacks well represented. I know Keon wanted to wish you all the best, so um, that. hopefully you don't see the field because that means something bad's happened. <laughs> but if you do have that emergency situation, yeah, hopefully absolutely. all the best. And all the best that. to the 49ers as well. I appreciate that. Thanks, Thank man. All much. the best. Thank you. Brandon Allen. 49ers fan. Right. How, you, oh, how you feeling? We're, we're just talking about you, man. How, how you feeling? Good. 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 I need to do, do me a favor. Um, at the end of this, I'd like to grab you for a couple minutes. But um, the head statistician for CFL on TSN, his name is Dave Moisey. We call him Moisty. Same thing you got. Multiple myeloma. Just got diagnosed in December. Just got the tweet like, 
a couple uh, days from, ago. From your perspective. You have a yes. number? Um, I can get a number, uh, right? And uh, we can do a little video message for them, yeah, yeah, and I'll get it sent to them. All right, um, I'm going to do this, our, this BC Lions videographer, Nick Kowalski, Johnny Holland. All right, here we are, San Francisco 49ers, Lions being represented by Johnny Holland, two years with the Leos. Coaching the likes of Biggie and Solomon Elamimian. Absolutely. Coach, before we talk about the 49ers, remember, what are your memories of coaching in, in Canada and particularly in two years in BC? Uh, well, Eric and I was just talking about it. I had a chance to win a championship uh, with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and, uh, and having a chance to go to BC and coach uh, with Benavides and the guys, Mark Washington. Had an awesome time. Had two great linebackers, but Elamimian Solomon. Yeah, and Went in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, Hall of Fame yeah. guys, man. They and Big, you'll be there quick, too. Awesome guys, yeah. man. They are was fun guys to coach and, and a good team. I really enjoyed my time there. I remember you telling me if those guys were, like, four inches taller, they'd be yeah, playing on Sundays. No doubt. I, I was, I've been in the NFL for a long time, and it was a little easy to identify NFL potential players. And those two guys definitely could play. And Big Hill had his opportunity to play. And it's Farhan Lauchi from TSN. You yeah, yeah. Good, good to see you. Um, Great to see you. Hey. Inspired by your story. Oh, yeah. man. I, all, I, all the prayers. I, well, I appreciate it. I just want to do like a little quick shout out to Moisty right now. Because um, he just, again? Dave, all right. he just got uh, diagnosed. Right. Farhan, you get in here too. All right. Hey, uh, Dave, just got news of your story. Farhan and I are here with Johnny Holland. He's got the same thing you have, man. Hey, Multiple Dave, mal -a -mal. Hey, let's, let's kick that butt with that myeloma, man. You can beat it. Uh, hey, if you have any questions, man, I know it's always tough to go through this, but give me a call. Uh, you, you got his number now. You. Yep. And hit me up, man, because I know you always have questions about it, buddy. Take care. There you go, buddy. We're thinking of you. Love you, Moisty. <laughs> Can't wait to see you again. Yeah, you guys yeah. were talking about Canada there. Taylor Powell yeah. lighting it up in Canada with the Hamilton no, Tiger was, Cats yeah, earlier yeah, this no, year, no. right? But he's, I got, he's, he's, in, he's in Canada. Yeah, he's playing for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. But I got to ask you, though, okay. BC Lions, Keon Hatcher, you got to give me right, a good right, Hatch right. story. I got to do I do the play-by-play, -play, so I need a little research here on Hatch. Man, Hatch, man, he's one of them guys, man, that, like, I swear, like, you, the way that he works, you would think, like, he was, like, I don't know, man. Like, I remember my first time coming in my, well, my freshman year in, uh, in Arkansas, and, like, I ain't really got no crazy stories, but he was just one of them dudes that's just like, he was just a dog, man. Like, you could tell, like, I mean, whether it's special teams, whether it's like blocking, like whether it's in a weight room, like, I mean, he lived in weight, the linebackers and stuff was lifting, so I just knew, like, the type of dude. Well, that, that's good street cred you know if he's saying? lifting like, with the yeah, backers. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, he was just, he was just one of them dudes that you knew not to mess with just because, like, of his, just his mentality and the way he, he worked on the field. No, so I asked you like 20, 10 years ago, like, Hatch getting married, there's like no way? You, if he definitely would have said no way. Yeah. That's funny, that's funny, but I mean, he changed, man. He's growing up, man. He, he getting, he's, he's growing up, man, and that's big for him, though, man. Hey, Hatch, I love you, dog. What's up? Thanks, man. Man. Thank you. All the best. Yes, sir. No okay, time. good luck on Sunday. It's this guy, we're going way back with this guy. He probably way back doesn't even remember me. That's how way back it is. Tim Ryan. <laughs> I had hair. That, and look at this. Yeah, that, that wasn't there when you're doing network one. TV. When he was doing network TV, that wasn't there, but it is now. Color doing color for the 49ers on the radio. First off, how much fun do you have in focusing in on one team week after week and the team that you play for? It's unbelievable. Um, I think the biggest thing, and it's a big reason why I left television, was to have an emotional investment into the team that you're covering. And when you're in the booth, a lot of times I'd pull for friends that were coaches on the sideline or maybe who I picked in the pool the night before for fun. But now to be, and that's what all players miss. When you leave the game, you miss the camaraderie, you miss the locker room, you miss being part of something. And you miss, obviously, the euphoria of the wins, but part of the depression of the losing and the ups and downs and everything that goes with pulling for the, the same common goal. So it's unbelievable. Yeah. And to be with this team, and this is year 10, the first couple of years was some lean years. So, you know, the last Harbaugh year, and then a Tom Sula year, and then a Chip Kelly year. And then when Kyle got here, <laughs> it started 0-9, and then won five um, of six. And it just, you know, slowly the culture flipped. And by 19, and a lot of the players that are still on this team were playing in the Super Bowl then against Kansas City. And now to be as close as they've been in three, the last three years of the NFC Championship game, and to be able to win it in the way they won it, it's been an unbelievable ride of motion. BC wins on the road. I always light one up before I head on the bus. So there's a little tradition. You guys win this Sunday. 
you can light that one up and start your own tradition. Beautiful. A little Cubano for yeah, you. I appreciate that. Thank you. And if we win on Sunday, I'll be cutting this mop. <laughs> hey, Tim, great stuff. Nice seeing you again. Reconnecting. All the best. Appreciate it. Tim Ryan right here. Take care of yourself. I got to beat this guy. I'm at the five, the four, the three, the two. Touchdown, Moj. All right, that does it for media night here tonight at Allegiant Stadium. Got a lot of good content. A lot of content's a little different. I mean, we're not asking the normal media type questions, but stuff kind of relates to connections, people that we know back home, people with Alliance, people in the CFL. And of course, we always talk about football being a small world. Well, you got a dose of it tonight with some of the people that we talk to here. And of course, their connections with people in the CFL in Canada. Hope you enjoyed it.